So we thought let's uh, since we are such big followers and lovers of Pliny, let's do a small EP. And so we decided initially to put just three songs. Uh, so Headspace was planned to be released as a single later on. But uh, some reason we decided that all right, let's put uh, four of the songs, make this an EP. And uh, then I decided the uh, album art, uh, all of the band members named the album somewhere in between. And it just happened. It was very spontaneous. It was not very, it was not very planned or uh, hmm. anything. So we recorded ourselves. We mixed and mastered ourselves. So everything was completely uh, DIY. So yeah, that is how the album happened. Pretty simple. All right, uh, a lot of people and the local viewers of the internet to them, they have with us the beautiful and the wonderful musicians from the band Universe in a Crayon on a Monday night. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining in. Thank, so, thank, thank, thank you for having us. Thank you. Thank you. We were glad to be a part. Thank you so much for uh, taking the time out on a Monday night, especially, especially you know, like super, super, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. It's it was like pretty yeah. amazing tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Thank Suraj actually, he just got off a call from his office to join. Wow, okay. He's anyway, on Monday. Anyway. Yeah. Or put it like, yo. <laughs> I'm doing a pay team of 500 after the set. <laughs> ah, no, no, no need. It's an honor, it's an honor. Um, so normally there's no script, there's nothing uh, that I kind of have a set of questions. I don't like all of that. I was what mechanical with other. So what I'll do is, uh, first and foremost, let's uh, understand that's a very burning set of questions every viewer has from e each band. That is, how did this band form Universe in Creole? Yeah, Suraj will answer that question, I think, because he was there uh, during the inception. Actually, uh, it's a long story. And uh, I mean, back in 2016, I guess, when like I started listening to play, uh, there was this album and films. And I like immediately fell in love with the sound and started playing guitar and started to compose stuff. Like I wanted to sound like me actually. And then like after a couple of years, uh, I think it's uh so many genre authors, like maybe back in twenty eighteen or twenty nineteen. Nineteen, nineteen, uh, yeah, nineteen, nineteen, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh so many called me. We knew each other like over social media, like we used to, you know, post videos. So I knew him, but like suddenly one day called me and he's saying that like uh, Suraj I want to like take it to our like willing to play with me I, I'm like into this instrumental stuff instrumental music with Lil, David Max in the stage and not David uh play inter uh, intervals actually uh, I don't much like yeah so uh, I want to do a band if you want to join so I was like yeah I was also looking for a guy <laughs> which was kind of funny and like so after that we met and at the like, jam, like, he came to my place, and that's how like started. And then uh, after that, we like started composing a song, and then we uh, called Ron, and then Prasenjit, and back in 2021, on group joined the band. Yeah, like after after lockdown, and we joined the band, yeah. and then we did our first live show. যখন আমার ড্রিম থিয়েটার ফেসবুক আমার সবাই শেষ হয়েছে তো তখন আমি সবাই সবাই মানে যায় সব গিটারিস্টের লাইফে ড্রিম থিয়েটার ফেসটা যায় তো তারপরে আমি ইন্টারভালস তো ইন্টারভালস হচ্ছে প্রথম আমার সে মডার্ন মেটাল ব্যান্ড মেটাল নাটিক মডার্ন ব্যান্ড তো তারপরে আমি ওদের একটা গান শুনে সেটা লিব্রা আমি লাইক শুনে ও এটা কি আচ্ছা এভাবেও গিটার বাজানো যায় এনিওয়ে আই উইল কন্টিনিউ উইথ দ্য স্টোরি অন হিজ বিহাফ so what happened was he was listening to intervals like he told me the story of course so listening to intervals and like because intervals was such a fresh sound back in the day it was the only not yeah but like he was the kind of the pioneer of pop inspired uh gent guitar playing like fusing gent and pop because earlier intervals used to be very much gent oriented seven string oriented then he brought the pop soloing and uh, uh kind of pop chord progressions into that kind of music which created that sound so sobar jonno eta khub unique chilo when interval started out we were all blown away ki wow this is how you can 
right stuff with guitar because we were all used to Steve Vai, Joseph Piani, Petrucci, Paul Gilbert and that kind of stuff. So that was new. So that blew his mind. And then uh, he went to Suraj and Suraj uh, introduced him to Pliny and David Maximichich and all of these artists. And then they decided to form the band, I guess. Yeah. So that's the story from his part. And he also yeah. watched Intervals live back in NH7 Weekender 20... What was it? NH7 Weekender? 2019. Uh, 2019, yeah. 2019 Weekender and yeah. that kind of blew his mind. So all of that contributed into like forming the band and progressing it ahead. 2019, it was in Mumbai, in Bangalore. No, it, it was, was like uh, Shillong. Shillong, okay. Yeah. Intervals played that. Yeah, and mm-hmm. I was like, cool, interesting. Insane lineup. I'm going to get yeah, yeah. because I was I was in class ten then. There was <coughs> intervals. There was Marty Friedman. There was Tesseract. Yeah, there <laughs> was Kali Kali dream lineup. Insane <laughs> lineup. Insane. Probably the best dream lineup of any film weekend I've ever heard. Mm-hmm. Plus, uh, Amara uh, and that was the tenth year, and he was like, you know, mm-hmm. and uh, once once Opeth came to do the Blackwater Park in Mumbai. Uh, I thought of buying the tickets, but then I was broke. So, yeah. Yeah. Same for me, bro. When that <laughs> weekend happened, I was pretty broke because I was in class 10. <laughs> I couldn't afford to <laughs> buy not only tickets, but also accommodation for 2-3 days. Yeah. I think so. Where were you? Where were you? Our call is called. The call is called. Interesting. Um. How did the genre of this band came along? Like you guys, six, five of you sat down and thought that okay, we're gonna be doing instrumental things. We're not gonna be doing the normal things or mass music people are used to hear all the time. Okay, it actually, so, I mean, drop on uh, as a ball on the ball. Yeah, so when they, they started out, Suraj and Shomodi, we as guitar players are always more interested in solo instrumental guitar music. For, what to say? Earlier days, it used to be Steve Vai, Joe Satriani, Petrucci. Mm. But now it's different. So, Intervals Pliny came into the scene and they changed the music. They changed the idea of what instrumental guitar music mm. could be. Mm. So, they got inspired by that and they thought, we'll do something like this. Something without vocals. Because there are a lot of good bands with vocals, of course. But uh, in the Kolkata music scene, uh, instrumental guitar-oriented, guitar-fronted music was not really that popular or that prominent back in the day. Mm. So, they thought that if we do this kind of a sound, we have a chance of standing out and plus, because they loved that sound. First mm. and foremost, they loved that sound so much that they thought that, yeah, this is the sound we have to go for. This is the sound that is in our hearts, right? I think they'll agree. Mm. Yeah, yeah, obviously. I mean, this is what we wanted to do. First of all, we, like, we didn't care about what the listeners would like, think <laughs> of our music. Like, it was what we wanted to do. Actually. It was a very selfish way of saying this, but yeah. Interesting. Rwanda, something you want to say? So, uh, uh, this has been my dream band, dream sound to perform and make with these guys. Also, back in 2019, I guess there was another member in the band who was a part and st- I guess is still a part by heart. So, his name was Siddharth. So, was uh, taking care of the bass duties of the band during that time. And that time, Onrup was not there. I guess they didn't, never played uh, together so uh it was and siddharth left pre-covid and mm-hmm. uh, joined pre covid yes so this was back then and it was for me uh, me and shomu were playing uh, for a lineup back into uh, since 2018 so we kind of knew each other and i knew suraj for a long time uh, because i we used to compete together when I actually I back went back in the college days yeah in the college days I went to a competition of his college where he was also performing yeah. and we kind of jammed some uh, like yeah we shared the stage yeah, yeah. so it was for the first then, like two strangers yeah like yeah. strangers then and then I forgot him and I <laughs> didn't knew that he did or something then uh, somehow after two three years and it was back in 2016 so after that i uh, got to know him through show and then eventually po- after covid we started making more music and this is how it is going and then amrup joined i got to know proshanjit through show and suraj so mm-hmm. yeah how oh. 
yeah then uh, it's a fun journey it's a fun doing music with these guys yeah, mm-hmm. every day i got from prasanjit yeah i guess everything started out with the birth of shooting star so yeah. that one of uh, ha we uh, we used to go to suraj's house to uh, compose our parts and it was also a very new concept for me to get a production of a song done first and then rehearse yeah so when all the element together and we started rehearsing the bonding of the band happened and ever since it has been a, a quite a good journey so far interesting so you guys have been doing instrumental music for a long time so if i like get a bird's eye point of view here how do you guys see from as a band as a band and as individual artists so <laughs> honestly me i got uh, more interested like i got my interest in this music uh, when covid came mm-hmm. before covid we started but uh, we also had our first gig to play at iist shipur which got cancelled because of the lockdown and oh. stuff so, so uh, that's yeah, the day before the event yeah yeah the day before the event it was i guess all of a sudden we got the call that happening on 19 the lockdown happened on 20th of march i guess it was a kind of sub Yeah, the last and uh, and and that was COVID. supposed to be our first show before COVID. Yes, yes, yes. It got cancelled. Mm-hmm. And we were we we years and we did all all of our stuff, but we didn't got to perform. And we got very sad. So that's uh, when we decided to release our first track, which is Shooting Star, of course, and and which was a home demo and which was recorded in like uh, during the COVID thing, mm-hmm. which mm-hmm. was mixed by mixed mixed by Suraj and mastered by Abdul Rashid. So. Yeah. Then, uh, uh, slowly, Shomo had like uh, this uh, amazing thing. He used to we used to talk a lot during COVID. Uh, me and Shomo, so we used to make a lot of uh, pop gen covers of songs. He used to take uh, many songs. He used to take uh, Paramore and many stuff, and he used to make oh, gen version of them. Yeah, and I used to love them, and I used to and I started recording uh, drums with two mics set up in my at my place. so i also was interested to record some thing like that so we started along with that so yeah mm-hmm. interesting that's how like um, a good chemistry between all of you that's kind of important mm-hmm. yeah coming back to the question that is you guys have been playing instrumental for a long time as a band and as individual artists all of yourselves how do you see instrumental music in a country like india Like is it a very futuristic thing, or is it happening, or as it's like a very niche thing? Of course, it's a very niche uh, concept or niche genre still because uh, instrumental music. It's not like it hasn't been there in India, but the genre we are doing, uh, it's very less. Like I wouldn't say there's no band like us all over India. I know of a few bands, but it's still, uh, of course, it's a niche genre because the fan base is very limited, right? So, when you are doing something like, uh, with all due respect to all of these genres, uh, rock or rock and roll, thrash metal or any kind of that, you have a big fan base because yeah. the genres have been developing for such a long time. You have both old people and new people who are listening to uh, modern stuff and also influenced so it, by the old people to listen to yeah, those yeah. genres. Yeah, exactly. So you have a lot of listeners for those genres, but. since this kind of music which uh, i don't really have the name for this particular genre you can i guess you can call it instrumental gen modern metal whatever you want to pro as many new so this uh, yeah so this has uh, this is a particularly new uh, genre this is uh, the conception is particularly new so you can't expect a large fan base uh, over the entire world not just only in india over the entire world right so that is why even a musician like plini is not as famous as dream theater yet yeah right because the old things will get famous quicker it, it is a fact so yeah. in india i w- i don't i am not thinking or we are not thinking of uh, exactly what the future of instrumental music is in india we don't like to think like that we are just playing our hearts out making the music that we love mm. but i do see the growing appreciation for this kind of music it is of course there so artists that we are influenced by they have visited india a lot of times to yeah. have gigs and there has been quite a lot of audience there so there's hope there's hope because good music will always find listeners and mm. good listeners will always find good music so yeah. it's growing it will grow with time and we hope to be the flag bearers of that in the future pretty inspiring so what is there anything i mean i can 
যখন আমরা স্টার্ট করেছিলাম তখন আমরা ভাবিনি যে আমি আর সুরাজ এক্সপেক্ট করেছিলাম যে এই গানটা ছাড়ছি কতজন তুই বা ছিল এক পাঁচশোটা ভিউ হলেই আমরা সেলিব্রেট করবো তো আমরা দেখেছি ওটা পাঁচশো থেকে পাঁচ হাজার হয়ে তো এর মানে কি দেখো ব্যাপারটা হচ্ছে যে যখন লাইক আমরা শুরুতেই তো আজকে যে মিউজিকটা শুনছি ওই মিউজিকটা তো সারা জীবন শুনে আসি আমরা সবাই স্টার্ট করেছি আরজি আমাদের যখন আরিজিৎ সিং ফেস যাচ্ছিল তখন যদি আমাদেরকে কেউ এসে ড্রিম দিয়ে তার সময় তো আমাদের মতো হতো যে প্রসেস হতো না আমরা আস্তে আস্তে হ্যাঁ তো আমরা আস্তে আস্তে সবাই ইনভলভ করেছি আমি একটা টাইমে হানি সিং এর মিউজিক শুনতাম আজকে আমি এই গানগুলো বানাই বা এই গানগুলো শুনছি আমি যদি আমার মাকে যিনি দশটা গান শোনাই আমি শিওর আমার মায়ের যে কোনো একটা গান পছন্দ হবেই আমার মনে হয় যে কি শুনবে কে শুনবে না ওটা না ভেবে আই থিঙ্ক পড়ে যাওয়া উচিত ব্যান্ডসদের কাজ করে যাওয়া উচিত ওনার বললে ঠিক শুনে না কোয়ালিটি <laughs> শোনে <laughs> <laughs> and it also feels great when people keep your song in their ringtone mm. in color tones in maybe they're covering we have after we have daily shooting star the uh, like the theme line show more plays in the guitar many people have covered it so it's like one of our greatest gift that we get to hear our songs being covered by some of uh, like some musicians who are like loving our music and trying to cover it so it also gives us the uh inspire influ- like inspiration to make more music for them for the people and and it's simply in calgary it's growing not in calgary in india in the entire world it's growing like people have started to like respecting this genre and like started to listen to this genre like i have seen like i used to see many people going to the uh, gigs uh, where the ensemble Uh, what escapes me uh, like chronics on noise academy bands like this is to play and they are also coming to enjoy our gigs as well so it's like it's their taste in that time this band didn't existed i was also there the all our member were there but it never existed now we are doing this music and it's something new and people are liking it so that's a greatest gift yeah. to any musician who will make this so yeah so here's a line so somewhere in the future someone will be so wait let me reframe it somewhere in the future someone will be listening to somewhere in between yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> w- w- with that question how did this ep happened yeah please continue yeah the bottom line is that if you uh, do the music that you love strictly it can be anything it can be like free jazz as well i don't know if uh, how like if people listen to free jazz but it can be anything right someone will like it okay and you can't do it for the audience if you are doing it for the audience you are selling out if you are doing it for yourself if you are doing the music that you enjoy and your own mind is blown that oh wow we did something then or the re- target audience will find it mm. right this is something i learned from our folk of periphery he said that first of all we do the music for ourselves we always did this for ourselves we didn't think for a second uh, will people like it because 
that comes secondary if you do something with your heart and something that you enjoy there will be people like you who will like that as well mm, yeah so that is yeah. the bottom line you should like we focus on that personal mm. satisfaction mm. through creation yeah mm. any words from suraj uh, nothing like as i told i'll be uh, it was like all about us like it was self satisfaction and that's what we care about like, from the very very beginning and till today and you think like in future also will be like <laughs> it's all about us like what we think what we love and what we love to play what we love to hear it's all about pretty interesting yeah, i think about it in the game gano golo ke i think amar mona je ami kori khub weird ekta kaaj kori ami kori boro kono bondher gupe sangane adda mati sobai eto gaan chalay ami ki okhane nijer ekta band er gaan chali like gore nagere sob ta ei rokom ekta situation ache ami ei rokom bosha chha amar kichu bondhu sathe sobai বাংলা গান চালাচ্ছে অন্য ইংলিশ গান চালাচ্ছে ব্যান্ডের গান চালাচ্ছে আমি ওখানে গিয়ে বলেছি যে দেখো আমার ব্যান্ড না এটা ইনস্ট্রুমেন্টাল ব্যান্ড আছে বলো লাইক আমি দেখছি সবার ভালো লাগছে লেজি ভালো লাগছে তো আমার মনে হয় এই যে মেন্টালিটিটা যে যাদের শোনার তারা শুনবে ওখান থেকে বড় কথা হচ্ছে সবাই তো আছে যে তুমি যে শুনে দাও না লাইক একটা গান চালালে কেউ তো নারিস্ত করবে না যে তুমি এই গানটা কেন চালিয়েছ হ্যাঁ যেমন আমি অনেক ইন্ডিয়ান ব্যান্ডস এর নামই শুনি আগে যেমন আমি এগুলো কোনো দিন নিজে কি শুনিনি আমার কোন বন্ধু আড্ডা মারতে বসে আমাকে এসে বলেছে জানি সেরকম একটা ব্যান্ড আছে মানে যেহেতু লোকজন এই মিউজিক শোনে না এই জন্য লোকজনকে শোনানোর দায়িত্বটা আমাদের কি নিতে লোকজন শুনবে কি একশো টা অরিজিৎ সিং এর গান আছে দুটো আমাদের এই টাইপের মিউজিক আছে লোকে একশো টার মাঝখানে দুটো তো চাপা পড়ে যায় in radio they used to play fossil tracks right uh, yeah. on repeat apple up or hasnuana on repeat but now if you like tune into radio or any uh, commercial tv music channel or whatever any streaming platform you go you will see advertisement of commercial songs on and they like, it's just it's everywhere but so it's becoming harder for us exactly becoming harder, becoming harder for, for us and we will have to take the responsibility ourselves to promote our music mm-hmm. as much as we can and what i personally and, think is in my opinion um i heard this from a lot of musicians uh, that is in order to see I- I- india is a diverse country we never grew up listening to metal or prog or something of that sort we grew up listening rovindra sangeet and classical so if we go and make a person listen to a rovindra sangeet song rovindra sangeet gaan they will relate it more than a you know electric sunrise honestly right plus the second thing is people here are not very literate or educated enough to understand this music to be very very honest yeah told by a lot of musicians and even i personally think that because it's a very short niche so you know in a library of readers there always be 10 readers who read good books and 90 trash books honestly right so that's where i think it kind of balances out so 90s to 10 is anyway 90s heavy than 10 শুনতে ভালো লাগে আমার 
सुनते वाला है बट एंड दिस इज दिस इज अ वेरी थिएटर any other band they used to listen to fossils or maybe they used to listen to uh, maybe other acts in from india but nah. me after i am like uh, listening to all kinds of music and like learning many kind genres of music mm. i have also like i have also like this genre of music myself i have always like i like to listen like if i don't play also if i can't play also i can also listen and that's my uh, like uh, you know my thing and i would love to like prefer this genre over anything because uh, i would love to hear it so <laughs> this is what it is exactly yeah very in on the thing about uh, literate or illiterate audience it's a i would say it's a very uh, like two faced situation because satyajit mm-hmm. ray said that uh, india has a fairly backward audience right which is uh, which signifies that basically if you create something for the masses it's going to get popular if you don't create something for the masses is going to mm. have a niche so that is why fairly not entire exactly at the same time if uh, if your music really speaks it will speak to everyone if your mm. music really speaks mm. that is why plini became plini when no one was doing that kind of stuff that is why periphery became periphery when no one was doing that kind of stuff mm. so this is necessary so having a fairly backward audience is not a limiting factor it is certainly mm. not a help no it doesn't help to have a backward audience right but it is i wouldn't say that's a limiting factor or an excuse to not spread apart exactly yeah exactly. with your yeah. kind of music hmm. right so of course there will be backward audience not just in india in other third world countries as well hmm. but if you really create music that speaks to everyone and unless it's very extreme form of music right so it has a fairly good chance of spreading out it should be just pleasant to the listener exactly can, hmm. uh, catering to both kind of audience which are literate they will It'll be like oh wow what what's the mood what's the time signature and like what are the influences this that fractions and the a fairly like simple audience they'll just enjoy the groove of the track they don't care about the mm. uh, details like like we will think about a track from a very different perspective than some of our uh, being being musicians so it's very obvious yeah so. yeah mm-hmm. that does not stop the spread of the music right exactly. i have exactly. i have a lot of friends who are who have no idea how to play any instrument but who are like very big fans of prog metal and stuff right so right. that's not a limit like they relate to the sound in a good way yes last yeah. year around this time i guess we played a show called indie nation so where among like every other band like uh, like all the other bands were i guess simply covering things so and they were all mostly hindi bands Mm-hmm. so we were one of them who were performing originals, originals. and like very and like were an instrumental band so people were like crazy and they were like very encouraging listening to our songs because i guess it uh, they felt very like their uh, our song to be pleasing to their ears mm-hmm. so that's why they maybe they st- stayed and they were supporting us mm-hmm. but we got immense of, of love, like immense amount of love because we in that day we actually lost hope I, like after sound check we all went home and i when i came to the venue before playing i i, I was telling on roof i remember bhai aaj ke it's like i don't know what's going to happen because i have no idea i like i can't from this gig out of nowhere <laughs> because it was called by my friend but yeah so it it got unexpected and we had a good show so mm-hmm. yes yeah. at the end of the day it like it's our music that's making people come to us mm mm-hmm. Exactly. Plus a very good, interesting thing that was in between so many cover bands, there was at least one band doing original stuff. Yeah, I guess, and also an instrumental, not a band with vocals. exactly yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. guitar going into the instrumental band. Yeah. So yeah, and all like the the mostly the crowd were, was of uh, college college kids and school kids. So yeah, young blooded individuals. <laughs> so. the interesting part here that is how did 
the, the EP you guys released in January, month of January, how did that happen? Like from the thinking process till the execution. Okay, so it was not one. It was not a very big thing. Honestly, it started out with the three songs that were existing in the band before Star. I joined. So hmm. Drive, Shooting Star, and Headspace. They were all uh, written by Shromodip and Suraj and Prashanjit before I arrived. Right. So Headspace was called Demo Four. Then it didn't have a name. I came in in the band and then I named the song Headspace. And when I came in, the first song I wrote was Skyline. Right with Shromo. Then uh, we thought that okay, now we have four songs. Uh, we are still writing new songs. It was not like song. Then we were already deciding ki acha. Now we'll put this in an EP. So we had four songs. We are writing new songs, and then the idea came to us that uh, first we thought that four songs might not be enough for an album. Initially, it was a thought of an album. Me and Shomodi thought of an album, but then we thought that okay, that it is not enough for an album. The length will not be enough for an album. So we thought, let's uh, since we are such big followers and lovers of Pliny, let's do a small EP. And so we decided initially to put just three songs. Uh, so Headspace was planned to be released as a single later on. But uh, for some reason we decided that all right, let's put uh, four of the songs, make this an EP. And uh, then I decided the uh, album art. Uh, all of the band members named the album somewhere in between, and it just happened. It was very spontaneous. It was not very it was not very planned or uh, hmm. anything. So we record ourselves, we mixed and mastered ourselves. So everything was completely uh, DIY. So yeah, that is how the album happened. Pretty simple. And lastly, mm -hmm. we did a photo shoot. Yeah. And then so everything was just like spontaneous and random. Nothing was planned. Just it kept happening mm -hmm. and it. Uh, wow, we have an album. Maybe release it. Let's go. Hey. Rwanda? Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. he was a very big. Yeah. We were very lazy yeah. about the releasing. Yeah, we were like writing a lot, but the releasing was. Yeah, Ron Bob. It released during 2020. Me and Shombo and Suraj had a plan. So we were thinking, of, and then we, Shombo, wrote uh, uh, like a couple of more songs, and those songs had a like. <laughs> like very funny name Big Bell and all stuff and we like <laughs> uh, yeah and then we uh, like uh, stopped for a while and then we started playing shows and then yeah then we released our EP this January finally and then Vasco the ran the band yeah okay. so these two lads who are not here today Vasco Roy and Sobik Roy so the both the Roy brothers are a part of our band so one is uh, so Shovik Roy is our sound engineer and looks after our sound uh, the live sound live. and Bhaskar da manages the whole thing for the band and including uh, like I help him in a like few ways I can and yeah this is the lineup and and in future we are planning to uh, include uh, visuals and and everything for our life said as it's, it's an instrumental band so we have to uh, like uh, show engage everything. the audience yeah engage yeah. everything within a light engine production and everything so that's all mm -hmm. we are planning for big thing how do you guys came with the name of the band universe in a crayon because it's really interesting like if you hear the first time you are like i remember this that's a funny story uh, actually like now in my balcony we, we were having like we were smoking cigarettes and so on back in I'm talking about like, uh, back in 2018 and 19 at that point of time so suddenly this song came I introduced so on to so uh, David Maxim and all his albums so and suddenly we, we are like discussing about like what should we call our band like now we have a band now we have to call it something <laughs> so <laughs> that we, when we are discussing at that point of time the song came okay the song start it start playing and so much asked me like, what is the name of the song so, and i i told him it's called universe in Africa. and then suddenly he said okay we can call we can we can <laughs> we can and then we got it, it. <laughs> yeah, yeah this is the name this is the name what we should call it 
that's the nice name man like everyone because, likes it was also very spontaneous you know no plan and nothing out of nowhere it just came up like in every instrumental band is this the rule that everything should happen spontaneously no planning and something i don't know i just have you know anything can happen anytime we are not good at planning stuff we are not very good at yeah. okay so this is our deadline for recording album this is our deadline for album art we are not good at that and we get scolded by our manager for that but we are all very okay let's do this and we get it done within like skyline was written in one day the entire song was produced and written in one day so hmm. we are very spontaneous we either take a long hiatus or we do everything in a very short span of time that is like that is just hmm. our work so that is how we yeah. uh, can do things our mindset hmm. are, like uh, busy with something else will take a lot of time and if are like together and clear and we just do everything at in a glance maybe the rule is to have no rule yeah exactly <laughs> error <laughs> no rules um so here's the probably the last question then i'll say to guys free no no let us go by chulas with them on way sir and china um so you guys have been playing for a long while have you have practiced all of your instruments played bunch of gigs um this is a question i asked to probably everyone who comes to the show and that is so here are five people today so generally as i ask for three pieces of advice from every musician but today let's do something interesting that is your five people over here each advice as a musician and as an artist to all of the other artists and musicians no matter what level they are at beginner intermediate professional whatever uh each advice from all of you one by one okay so first thing i would like to say is uh, uh influence is a very important thing influence get influenced by lots of different kinds of music listen to lots of different kinds of music find your calling if you don't discover all the types of music there are you wouldn't really understand what music your heart like what speaks to your heart okay mm. so once you find I, and we are all like every one of us is still in the journey of discovering more interesting music more things that speak to us so listen and to and great music that is the yeah that is the best piece of advice and give, give you listen to great quality music listen analyze that okay and then try and create something and stay true to yourself don't ever think as i uh, told before as well don't ever think ki okay maybe the people uh, who listen to this won't like it maybe this won't don't care about that if you like it that's good enough you like it there's a reason yeah. for you liking it because that speaks to you mm. so stay true to yourself listen to good music get inspired and create something original that is what i'll say you think i'll go pretty i mean, I mean he, should, he should have the freedom like right? that whenever you are creating something or composing music so you should have the freedom it's not mm-hmm. like it should it should be enjoyable yeah, exactly like i remember once steve vai said this that sit down shut up all the cell phones all the windows and write a put piece of song or whatever riff or whatever the hell it is that sounds weird bad however is it and think that nobody will ever listen to this song and suddenly you'll be like i can do then i can do anything no one is going to listen to this one yes yes we need that that is very <laughs> essential that is very <laughs> interesting and like a uh, musician like those who are st- have started playing in their instruments have started listening to music like i uh, look for like versatility we will be like going very forward to it like yeah. you should uh, listen to more bands more music and you shouldn't be stuck to something you are like facing problems with like right like, many people come to me like saying dada this is happening with me this is i can't do this i can't do this I, it's like you i i also couldn't do that it's just practice and staying true to your path and to your instrument so you should mm-hmm. be always be calm kind and like show respect to the instrument you are playing and to the music you are loving and so yeah like a more dynamic approach yes to your yeah. hey, to your parts interesting next uh, suraj movie la uh, on this topic uh, i have nothing more to add uh, like as unruban uh, ron said like it, mm-hmm. yeah whatever the instrument you play you love to play and the music you love to play music you love to listen to instead like you know just keep listening to that keep exploring 
never mm. stop listening to or exploring more artists and that's a very important thing like it happens to me also like if i am listening to like lini or it is a uh, david maxim is phase going on then i need to move on something else mm. and like, it can get saturated right yeah, exactly. exactly to a particular artist uh, it mm-hmm. happens it happens with all of the musicians i know it's like yeah and one more, more thing so i want one more thing i wanted to add is like don't look for the result it's like it's going to come in your hand like like if it is meant to be like i also uh. used to go and watch somebody's concert sometime and now they have also come to attend my concert and that has also make me a uh, like feeling that yeah one day i also didn't had something to give something to play for them right today mm-hmm. i'm having something to play for them so that also gives us the great inspiration like they are coming and enjoying our music our seniors our anyone like my mom my dad anyone i couldn't give something to them because at the end of the day it's music is for people and music is for like like keep us in like one grip so that's that's must so this is mm-hmm. i want to add that's so what is the it will fall into place Yeah, exactly. Because Amar, the Amar, Amar, music, uh, uh, most essential thing is like no matter how much advice you listen to, whatever it is, <laughs> the only people who will uh, really get good at what they do is the people who don't need any advice, who just do it for the love of it. Like when exactly. we all started, especially our generation. Okay, nowadays people have it very easy. Especially if I talk about guitarists, because I'm familiar with that instrument. Like my students, I have a lot of students who are starting out with great guitars. Uh, new world dsp and all of like the latest gizmos and gadgets when we started out uh, we had nothing like i used to plug my grasson guitar directly into my computer speaker directly like this is sound awful but uh, i used to do that and i didn't need all of that thing what's wrong yeah like we wanted to play even if we didn't have flashy gear or uh, arc type arc type john petrucci or something yeah Yeah. My story is a bit different. I actually, yeah, uh, like I went to my. Uh, there was a guy in our school who was a pet senior of um, like two three years. So uh, during Durga Puja, I went to his place and I, like I said, they give me your drums. I need it. I just need to take it home and I am not uh, giving you back for the next three months. <laughs> So, but because my my parents were not letting me get uh, like uh, they were not <laughs> letting me a dr- get a drum set, and uh, rather than that, they g- got me a tool. So instead of that, it was very like pathetic for me to because I was not able to play that instrument and I wanted to. So yeah, it's like how we started. Also, we also got many things that our uh, seniors, seniors our elders. That is why they're better than us. Mm, that time, that time. they only know knew how to learn and like they used to learn no music internet. and they used to talk to me and no internet no youtube nothing like now if we ha- are having a problem we can search it on youtube and we can mm-hmm. find out any results about it back then they had to go to like their seniors also maybe or maybe yeah. so this they, is the thing if you really answer. love it if you really love it you will find a way to do it yeah you got to find no it. amount of advice no amount of gear will help you If just do it for the sake of it, and if you are just doing that, you know you don't need this advice. You really love it when I used to play back in the day in class eight, nine, ten. I used to just sit with my guitar. I had CDs of few musicians because I didn't have internet. I have CDs of Joe Satriani live concert. I just play along to it. I didn't know any technique. I didn't have any electric guitar teacher. Just used to play along to it all day. And all of us, all of the band members, we all something similar. Something we all have. own stories of our struggles i so i we know had a love teacher who taught me i never had a drum yeah. teacher i used to learn that is the will, yeah so it will come mm. naturally if you love the instrument if you and explore. every generation will have people like this who just do it for the love of it our see yeah. there our next generation will have people who will do it despite all of the easy access they'll still put in the hard work they'll still put in the dedication <laughs> so it will keep happening you don't need to worry about that but that is the best piece of advice just Like let your love. There is no advice. Don't. There is no advice. advice. You, will, you will. If you are meant to do it, you will. Do the it. best piece of advice is no advice. Exactly. If you are not meant to do it, no amount of advice will help you. Exactly. Ah. Huh. Honestly. Show me that. Anything you would like to contribute? In shop, take a borrow advice. Actually, go to friends. Banao. There are many music. Because I am. 
কারণ আমি যদি কোনোদিন আমার যদি সুরাজের সাথে দেখা না হতো হয়তো ব্যান্ডটা কোনোদিন তৈরি হতো কারণ আমি লিটারালি সুরাজের কাছে গেছিলাম আমার একটা গান আছে জানো তো আমি আমি জানি না কি করে ড ইউজ করতে হয় আমি জানি না কি করে ড্রাম প্রোগ্রাম করতে হয় আমি জাস্ট করেছি কোনোভাবে একটা ইভেন আমার কাছে আমি জানতাম না তখন ইন্টারফেস কি তো আমি ওর সাথে থেকে সব শিখেছি লিটারালি ও আমাকে আজ সিরো থেকে সব মানে আমি আসি ট্রাই করছি সব ইন্টারফেস ডর ইভেন ইভেন সুরাজ আমাকে অনেক নতুন মিউজিক শুনেছে অনুরূপ আমাকে অনেক নতুন মিউজিক শুনেছে ইভেন আমার অন্যান্য বন্ধুরাও আমাকে অনেক নতুন মিউজিক শুনেছে মিউজিক্যাল <laughs> ফ্রেন্ডস <laughs> interesting um for the audience i'm saying we'll be ending this here but uh, for the people who have been listening and watching till now uh, all of their music and social media will be down in the description please do check them out uh, support them Let's do whatever the fuck is needed to be done uh, because they're really good at what they do uh, for me personally i've heard their ep i don't know numerous number of times and one of the best eps i've ever heard so please check them out support them and thank you all for joining in for, on, a, on a monday mm-hmm. night you know